because it was just so overwhelming to finally be able to breathe. There are quite a few things, obviously, that I would like to say that Rebecca James can't say. Yeah. I'll never tell. <laughs> Think she's going to become a rapper? Cool. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally. Hi, so we are here with Muna Trare, uh, who plays Rebecca James on Murdoch Mysteries, and it's fantastic to meet you and also have you here on the set in your full clothing. I love it. And, but you were just saying that it's not the easiest thing to wear. So how has that changed? I mean, did you get used to it eventually, wearing all these kind of clothes? Yeah, I'm definitely a lot more used to it this year. Um, at first, it was pretty difficult for me, like wearing a corset all day, every day, shooting outside in the summer, wearing like a wool jacket on top and everything <laughs> was a lot. Um, and sometimes I found myself crying after set, not because I was emotional, but just because it was just so overwhelming to finally be able to breathe like a wow. full breath that my body would just force tears out of my eyes. Yeah. So it was <laughs> relief more than anything. Yes. Yeah. Like, but you look fantastic. Oh, and you. I think obviously the look of, with the costumes and the sets that we have really makes the show. Um, when you got the first cast, what did you sort of first think when you first tried the costumes on, first saw the sets? I was so excited. It was like, I've never, actually I have done something period before, but never quite like this where, um, you know, every day when I, when I walk on set or I'm walking around set, I'm fully immersed in the period. Mm -hmm. um, and it was wonderful. I, it's been such a delight. And I have to say, you sound slightly different in real life compared to on the show. Do you, did you change your voice to try and match the period at all? I try. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Most of the time I forget, especially when I'm angry. Like, I mean, when Rebecca James is angry. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, there are quite a few things, obviously, that I would like to say that Rebecca James can't say. Yeah. But that's why we have the web series. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to that because I understand that you'll be time traveling in that with the constables. What can you say about it? Well, I learn a few new words, All right. which is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> but are you the one that's in trouble and they have to sort of help you out? Is that kind of the premise? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Rebecca sort of gets caught in a, I guess in a, I don't know how, how, what the technological term would be, but she finds herself in the future mm -hmm. and not really knowing how to get back. Yeah. And um, when can we expect to see the new web series? I have no idea. No? But you filmed that, I believe. Yes, we filmed it a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know you haven't actually been playing Rebecca for that long compared to some of the other characters. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing about playing her in this time? Um, in the turn of the century. I think my favorite thing is just learning about the history of black people in Canada and in Toronto specifically because there was a black community here. They do have a history. And so as each episode goes along, I, I learn about um, my own city more, which is great. I really love that. And I really liked seeing you recently playing a little bit of football, impressing the boys. Was that actually you getting to play and show some tricks off? I'll never tell. <laughs> I'm going to take that as a yes. Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and um, we know that, obviously, with Rebecca at the moment, she's a very busy lady. She's helping in the morgue with Dr. Ogden. She's studying. She has a bow. We're wondering, you know, what's next for her? What can we expect? I think she's going to become a rapper. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no, no. A 20th century rapper. It's because I keep joking. I'm like, maybe she should invent rap. It yeah. has nothing to do with anything that she actually does. No. It's just because I want to rap on the show. She um, could sing, maybe. She does. Oh, okay. And you'll see. Um, and not well. Oh, no. So don't get your hopes up. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I don't think I sound very good. Um, I don't know what's next for her. I think it would be amazing if she found herself moving into the field and becoming a doctor um, specializing in something, who knows? How much will we see her progress this season? Will she sort of um, be still in med school or will she be sort of moving on to new things? I think you'll see her transition into med school, but beyond that, not a whole lot. There's a lot of other things that go on, but 
Yeah. yeah. And um, at the moment, um, well... We saw recently in an episode you actually became the investigator because you were investigating the death of your friend Sarah. So, and we saw you really get angry as well and be scared and, and have a kind of different role to what we were used to seeing you as, which was doing the forensics. How much fun was that? It was so much fun. I love being able to finally have my, like, well, I love Rebecca finally having her own space, her own friends, her schoolmates, teachers, uh, and obviously her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I love Jordan, who plays Nate. He's awesome to work with, so it's such a delight, again, to, to work with him. And, yeah, it was, it was an incredible uh, time f filming that episode because it was all so new for Rebecca, for her to finally come out and have the confidence to defy mm -hmm. Dr. Ogden and and really pursue something because it, it struck her to the core. It's a great character progression and as far as the episode, really entertaining, I think. I think so too. And obviously you, we get to see you playing with Nay and with some other characters, but I know that you'll have some upcoming scenes with Bracken Reed, for example. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Finally. Can you tease anything about those? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, Really just that they're fun basically they're fun and and i think that that relationship is growing i think bracken reed takes really nicely like he takes well on on i can't speak english <laughs> <laughs> i think that he he likes rebecca and she likes him and there's sort of like a very comfortable relationship i think he sort of looks out for her a bit and i think there's a lot of room for that relationship to grow so can we then expect her to be doing a bit more investigating? I wouldn't say so, no. necessarily. Mm -hmm. Helping out, yes, but investigating? We'll see. Yeah. Maybe next season. <laughs> so obviously it's the last day of filming today. Um, are you looking forward to the hiatus or are you kind of sad to be finishing the season? It's like a mixed bag. I'm sad to be finished. I'm like, I can't believe that I'm not going to be on set like next week. But at the same time, I'm so excited to have space for some of the other things that I want to do. Um, you Such know. as? Well, I definitely want to go to Haiti and, and see my family. And, and so uh, that's definitely where I'm going to be spending more time. And then also pursuing other projects, creating my own projects and uh, hanging out with my family. Fantastic. Well, um, Merry Christmas then in that case. I hope you have a great time with your family. I hope you have a great time on holiday. We look forward to seeing the rest of your episodes for season 10. Thank you. Thank you. It was great meeting you. You too.